hi guys welcome back to my channel you're welcome to dina i know it's good to have you guys back on this channel if you've not watched my previous video please try to watch my previous video i actually did this hairstyle there and if you want to learn a very simple way to just look cute and you know put together then by all means watch that video i'm going to leave a link up here okay so in today's video guys i know that i've done three videos already on genotype and compatibility one of them focused on if you are as and as what are your options and there i gave you guys options that you guys can try in case you guys decide to get married and continue with your relationship because of course it's not easy to say i'm done with you i'm not dating you anymore it's not easy i understand i've been there so uh this video also is for couples who are as and as who want to still go ahead to get married but want to know what their options are you know what are the things that they can still do if they are together and if there's something that you're interested in definitely do keep on watching in previous videos i talked about the cvs and the amniocentesis which were the options i gave in case you still want to get married and you're hoping to have kids in today's video i'll be talking about other ways in which you can get married and still have children without the ss genotype that do not have the gene of ss okay um i know for you to have gotten to this point like you have done all your thinking you've done all your crying you've done your, your mind is made up right so the first option i'm going to be telling you guys today is the everything written down here because i do not want to make any mistake i've researched this a long time ago but i just had the time now to sit down and film because i kept getting more questions on that video and i think that is like my most viewed video on this channel so people ask me questions like give an update give an update is there any other options besides this so that's why i'm here to do this one so the first method is pre-implantation genetic testing this is a method used to check if a child gene carries a defect they use it to check the defect in the genetic makeup of an embryo rather not a child and this method uses ivf so it's an ivf method but they use this to trace if the embryo contains any defect and the defect in this case would be the ss gene this method is actually done before pregnancy this is a hallelujah because the other method i had talked about here the cvs and the amniocentesis are actually done while you are pregnant and i'm going to tell you the advantage of this one to that one shortly okay but let me just explain what this one is so this is an ivf method used to detect if a child has any gene that has a defect so the pre-implantation di diagnosis that's pre-implantation diagnosis or testing is done especially when maybe it is known that the couple or one of the couples actually have a genetic defect that they are trying to prevent their child from getting so what happens is this you would go through normal ivf process you take the injections and all of that and your eggs will be harvested and also the sperm of your husband would also be harvested and then they would fertilize it in the lab this would normally take two to three days so after the fertilization they would then check they will screen all the embryos and when all the embryos are screened they would make sure they select the one that does not have the defects that you are trying to prevent your child from having so that is what they will now implant so that's why they call it a pre-implantation testing so they will now implant it back into your system thereby you will now have a child that does not contain the that does not have the ss gene great right this is amazing okay so i'm going to tell you the advantages of this number one the advantages of this is that aside um your child having ss this test also helps parents to detect if their child has down syndrome if you're trying to prevent your child from having a certain type of cancer albinism um muscular dystrophies you know all these things can be prevented from this test the difference between this test and the previous method i've talked about which is the cvs and the amniocentesis is that this test is done before pregnancy unlike the other ones where you're already pregnant 
before they actually do the test and then you now have to make the choice of terminating your pregnancy it's not easy even if your child is ss you're already pregnant and somebody comes and tells you that ah madam this child you can't have it you know you have to now start aborting your child but this saves you the stress of having to abort your child because they will do all the work before you actually get pregnant but just like every other ivf method it has its own risks of maybe your body not accepting the the ivf miscarriage and all of that but this is so far the safest and the easiest way to actually have your child safely and not have a child that carries the gene of the ss this is a hallelujah if you ask me so i'm going to say the name of the method again pre-implantation pre testing or pre-implantation diagnosis and um, the cost of IVF in Nigeria is between 1.5 million to 2 million naira, depending on how much you have. And I think the cost for both the IVF and the this um, the cost of the you will first it's, it's an IVF process before they do the implantation. I don't know exactly how much the pre-implantation testing costs, and I don't know how. But I think IVF should be within 1.5 to 2 million naira. But the act of actually doing this the whole thing i don't know how much it costs but yeah just for you to have an idea and this test is done in i know nautical nautical fertility center in nigeria does this test and they also do the ivf and if you go to their website this video is not sponsored i'm just sharing out of my good heart if you go to their website all the price for every process you are going for is there whether even if you are not doing SN, maybe you want to give birth through cs anything you want to do anything concerning fertility is very good because it kind of like helps you plan ahead so they put all their prizes there on their website so you can check their website i don't know if loot actually does this but i know nautical fertility center is where you should go if you want to do your own pre-implantation testing and if you want to go through the whole ivf process and all that okay and um if you have the money I mean, why not? Money, um, love does not have any measure. No amount of money is enough, you know, when you spend it on love. <laughs> so yeah, that's an option for you to try. So the second option, again, is also an IVF method, but I'm going to tell you guys how you can do this IVF in two ways. The first one is this. You can do um, IVF method. Each partner, for example, maybe... Okay, the man can decide to IVF and surrogacy. This goes together. It depends on which one you choose to do. If it is the woman that wants to do it, she will do, she would um, harvest her eggs, but then a sperm donor, she will get um, sperm from a sperm donor that would now fertilize her eggs. This is between you and your husband. The whole world doesn't have to know about it. If you guys don't tell anybody like, who's going to know? Okay, who's going to know? So it's an agreement between the both of you. So you can actually get um a sperm donor dono and fertilize your own eggs and you guys can have children even though they might not be your husband's children but it's an agreement between the both of you guys or it can be done this way you can actually get eggs from somebody who is willing to donate their eggs to you and fertilize with your husband's sperm and then the egg is placed into you normal ivf method and then you give birth to the child but yeah the child is doesn't carry any trait from the mother but is the father's sperm from a donated egg right the second option you can actually do is you can do surrogacy you can decide to do this method i'm talking about like you know um, the lady harvest her eggs and then look for a sperm donor that doesn't carry the traits of the ss or as and then fertilizes it but another person carries the child for you surrogacy you know you can do this with your egg your husband can do this with your sperm so both of you have children even though it is not children from both of you directly i don't know how to explain this but they are still your biological children or not from you and your husband just for maybe from you and another man or from your husband and another woman but all these people remain anonymous except you decide to use a surrogate for this process nobody has to know about it it's just you and your husband and love goes on and you have healthy children that are your children actually they are healthy children that are not going to cost you money they're not going to cost you the trauma of having to have a child that is always having crisis the second option you can actually the third option rather you can actually decide to take is adoption you guys can adopt children in case you say okay ah, i don't want to get a sperm donor from a random person i don't want to get an egg from a random person um okay let's just decide to adopt there are a lot of children who are orphans 
who probably their parents are in prison or don't even know who their parents are and they are looking for a good home like yours to actually live and look for parents that can nurture them and grow them up you know in a, in a conducive environment so you can actually decide to adopt children you can adopt very like newborn children and let them grow up as your own kids you know you can decide to add adoption is an option that you can try the last option i would say is of course you can decide to not have children i know there are people who don't even have the as and as wahala but they decide not to have children you can decide that okay it's me and you forever we don't want to have children that's not going to be a problem that of course should be something that you guys should seriously decide about and be very sure that that is the option you want and if in the long run you decide to have children, I already gave you guys a lot of options that you guys can try out. So you can watch my previous videos if you want to know about the other tests I've talked about. This is not just the other method. I've talked about two methods before, which is the amniocentesis method and the CVS method. And here I'm talking about the pre-implantation diagnosis or testing. I'm talking about um, IVF, different IVF methods that you can use, the one that you can do with your partner, Get you can get an egg donated or you can get sperm donated to you depending on which partner wants a child at that time or you can do it through surrogacy you know it's it's as simple as that okay i hope this video was helpful i know that <laughs> this problem nobody is really going to understand this problem except you've gone through it yourself i already told you guys my own experience here i did a story time here telling you guys my own experience if you've not watched that i'm going to leave that link here i'm also going to leave it down in the description bar so you guys can watch it so i understand totally where you are right now and um i pray god gives you the wisdom to choose the best option for you and i pray god gives you strength to be able to you know live with the option that you choose in whatever thing just carry god along and remember that you are not alone there are a lot of people who are going through it and really it's your choice nobody should make you um nobody should make a decision for you and also remember that whatever decision you make today is going to live with you forever so think wise choose wise and i love you guys like so come your way again next time please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and family okay bye